In this video, we're going to take a quick look at the high-speed CMOS version of the 7404 integrated circuit. So it's a hex inverter. There's six uh, NOT gates in there. We're just using uh, one of them. Uh, we'll come to that more uh, later on. But in any case, here is our input signal. So it is a high enough voltage. Uh, we got 5 volts, and it's close enough to 5 volts that the output's low. Even with the LED, it uh, is 0 volts. Now I'm going to quickly uh, drop... The uh, signal voltage and you can see now the signal voltage is low enough that the output went high the red LED uh, lit up so it's not uh, 5 volts even if we remove the LED it's uh, pretty close to 5 volts it looks like without the LED but in any case with the load it drops it down a little bit it's really not intended to uh, drive LEDs like this um, but you can this uh, high-speed CMOS version can provide enough power so I showed you the uh, went the wrong way the quick jump there um, this is what this integrated circuit is made for. Uh, just two voltages that it bounces back and forth. It's not really made for uh, a sliding voltage. So we'll look at that. I'll set the trim pot about halfway, about 2.5 volts. You can see both the input and uh, the output, the LEDs are rapidly uh, alternating, are bouncing all over the place. So you want a Schmidt trigger uh, to circuitry. That's the integrated circuit I wanted to do, but I fried all the ones that I have. That eliminates that uh, middle ground uh, bouncing around, and uh, we'll look at that in a future video. So now really quickly, we got the schematic symbol. So it's the triangle and the dot. So a voltage in gets inverted uh, when it comes to out. You may see A for input, you may see Y for output or X for output, and you may not. So here is the pin layout, and this is common for hex inverters. So that means the same thing as six uh, not gates. And uh, so we're using just number one there. There's five other ones, and we have the inputs tied to either one supply rail or the other. That helps stabilize things. So in any case, this is a 7404. Uh, that means hex inverter. But uh, between those two numbers, usually it's the type because um, there's different types of uh, transistors they use to make these. So this is the high-speed CMOS version that we're using in this video. So really quickly, our uh, trim pot voltage divider there comes to the top pin, which is uh, 1A, as we saw before. So high input, close to 5 volts, uh, low input, close to 0 volts. So you can see the uh, red LED there, our uh, output comes to pin number 2, so it's 1 and then 2, which is uh, Y in this uh, video, our output. We have a uh, polarity indicator kind of uh, circuitry right there. So output is high right now, the red LED you can see positive. Uh, to ground, make sure the LED is in the right direction, and then uh, we have a low output now, the blue LED. You can see we got positive through the LED, and then ground right there. So here's our true table, and uh, we got uh, one for close to 5 volts, zero close to zero volts. You can see when our input was uh, closer to 5 volts, we had close to zero volts out. And uh, when our input was close to zero volts, we had 5 volts out. So this is my quick video series. This one's gone long enough, so I'm going to end it there.